Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome to Alpha 21. It's finally here, baby. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Now, this is the beginning of the streamers weekend, so we do have access to it before you guys, but you guys will get it starting on Monday. We always get to do this a little bit early on the weekend so that we can do some bug testing for them, build some hype for it, and I'm happy and thankful to be a part of the streamers group here. So, uh, hopefully you guys will be along for the ride. I am starting a brand new series today that we're bringing back The Lone Survivor. This is basically Lone Survivor 3. So if you're wanting to play along with me, the seed of this world I'm using is just Lone Survivor, all one word, capital L, capital S. And I have a set to Warrior Difficulty, 64 Zombie Horde Knights. This time, one of the things that I'm doing is I've turned off loot respawning. So we don't have any loot respawn. Once we pick it up, it's gone. Let me move some stuff around over here just in case. I don't need any of this stuff on me. I'm just going to scrap you because I don't need you. Check out the way they redesigned the land claim block. That's pretty sweet. Put you and you up there. We're good to go for now. So we're getting through the beginning quest here. So yes, yeah, streamers weekend. So And I am going to be doing some key giveaways. So if you want to win the game, all you have to do is just leave a like on the video. You don't have to be subscribed, but of course it helps me out. So I would appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe. And, uh, you know, that way you get access to new videos as soon as they go live, that sort of stuff. But all you have to do is just leave me a comment saying, hey, Cap, I want the game. Now, quick disclaimer, the code that I'd be giving you does not give you access to Alpha 21 any earlier. You, It's basically just a free version of 7 Days to Die. Once the game goes live on Monday, you'll have access to Alpha 21 just as much as everybody else will. So, I am giving away some keys to the game, but it is not keys to Alpha 21. It's just a free copy of 7 Days to Die. So, if you already have it you aren't going to need to win another key unless you just want to try and win it to give it to a friend or something. So, throw it in the comments down below if you want to try and win a copy. Let's see if we can get through these opening quests real quick. This one's going to be a little challenging. Not having access to loot respawning is definitely going to be a little bit challenging for sure. Right, so now all we have to do is just wear some pants. Let's see, can I make a... Let's see, Do I? can I make myself at least a shirt so I'm not running around totally naked? have a little bit left. I can wear that. So there's a lot of changes they've made to this game that's going to be interesting for sure. I, and I think in this version of the game, this playthrough, I want to make myself a spear player. I usually go for like some sort of bonking because they like the good bonks. But I think I want to try and do something different. They changed up the way spears work in this game. So now you don't have the ability to throw them. You actually have a power attack with those. So we'll just have to see how well that works. I've never really used the spears much, a little here and there, but I've just never really, never really used them. And I will use the bow, of course. In fact, let's go ahead and put you right over there. Put you right there. What do you want us to build next? Oh, we got to gather some more wood. Okay, let's go do that. Man, I am genuinely excited to play this. I know a lot of you guys, the same as the rest of us streamers, have been super, super excited about waiting for Alpha 21 to get here. There was a pretty good size window of time from the release of 20 to 21. It was like 18 months, a good year and a half. So I fully get it that everybody's anxious to play it. I can tell you that uh, we as the uh, people in the streamer group and just the creators in general are right there with you, man. We have been anxiously awaiting to play this game as much as everybody else has. So, humongous thank you to everybody who plays the game and supports the game and supports us streamers as we're playing it. I, on just my behalf, say thank you for that. Get through the rest of these opening quests that we have. You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and beat this down see if on the off chance I can get some honey. Because if this is a typical Lone Survivor playthrough, we're probably going to get an infection on the first or the second day. We did not get any honey. Shocking. I'm shocked, I tell you. Alright, let's get the first things we need to go. Done. Put you here. And ta-da! Well, which way is... Three and a half kilometers? Holy crap! It's a good thing we got this little spot here. Man! <laughs> that is going to be rough. That's a long trip. That's going to take me like the remainder of a day to get to it. So, of course, as you guys know, if you've been following along with the production of Alpha 21, some things have been changed. Like, for starters, there is no water jars in the game, so water is going to be a little bit harder to come by. Um, you can now shoot through doors if they have a crack in it. That is a huge plus for the rest of us. 
I'm going to put one and two sharp sticks here so I can make a little bit, uh, do a little bit better spear damage. Uh, let's see, healing factor would probably be a good idea. Iron gut, does that help with water too? It does. I'm going to use that early on just because it'd probably be useful. Uh, and one and two cardio. And then we'll just have to hope that we can level up real fast. Okay, where's my... Wait, can I make a spear? I may need a couple more rocks. Yep, need a couple more rocks. Right, let me find one more rock. Something else that's changed too is some of these small lootable things like nests and some backpacks and things that you would find just laying on the ground. They automatically break now. So that's not something that you can just, you, you just get to pick up anymore. The larger loot boxes, they will still stay the way they were. Okay, so we're getting the first indicator of something new that's been added. The Cabin Retreat. It's a level 1 POI. You get the indicator by the red skull up at the top when it pops up. The difficulty... Oh, nice. That's not too bad. The difficulty is going to be based entirely on the POI that you're going into and the biome that you're in. And you'll get the indicators up at the top there. Orange skulls are indicators of how difficult the actual biome itself is. And red is the POI. Now, if I'm wrong on that for some reason, well, then I apologize ahead of time. So let's get inside this place. This is only a level one POI, so maybe, just maybe, we can not die. That would be great if we could not die on the first video, or the very first video, because we just don't want to do that. This is not going to be a permadeath series starting on day one. Usually, I try to make it permadeath after the first horde night, just because that first week is always quite rough. And it's nice to not have to end the series right off the bat here. A little bit of gas. I'm picking up everything as I go right at the moment, even though I'm not going to need a lot of this for a while. Check out the spool. That's cool. I remember having uh, access to one of those as a kid. And of course, the first thing you try to do is stand up, walk on it, and roll it like you see in the cartoons. So I'm going to be really, really anxious to see what's going on um, with all the things that have been changed in Alpha 21. I'm, I'm generally excited about it. I've been chomping at the bits to play it, as, like I said, just as much as you guys have. And I, I hope this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope it does well on the channel, and I hope you guys like the series. Alright, so we are going to be in the darkness for a little bit. Uh-oh, okay. Let's make sure we're not trapped. We get outside so we got some room to wiggle. Or run over a freaking uh, spike trap. Alright, so we got Bo right off the bat. He's a little bit of a bigger guy. Let's do a little bit of a... Okay, power attack worked okay. Knocked him backwards. Glenn, don't hit me, sir. Bleeding already? Really? Bleeding right off the bat, huh? That's that's not good. We use our one bandage for that. Lovely. This is going to be difficult. I'm not used to using the spears here. They have a little bit more range than what I'm used to for most of the stuff. But, <laughs> it's still, how they attack, I'm used to the swing through of the clubs and sledgehammers and pretty much every other weapon I use that's not this. Okay, well, we already had to use our one bandage, so let's just hope we don't have to run into any more. Can of shaman? That's not too bad. Alright, uh, so it is going to be a little bit dark early on. I had thought about gifting myself a headlamp so you guys can see, and I'm still not opposed to doing that because if it's too dark for you guys to see, you don't enjoy the video as much. That's just the way it works. I fully understand that. Also, a lot of things have changed in the way that the things look now. So, like when you have cabinets, so you have the empty cabinets, and then you have the search cabinets. So, when you loot it now, it should convert... I guess not. I, maybe it's not all the cabinets. Maybe it's certain kinds of chests and stuff. All right. Well, we got our first book. No big deal. Improves food crafting skill. That's not too bad. Cook a dozen meals and become a master chef. That's not a bad first day thing here. You unlocked food. Tier one grilled corn and baked potatoes. Nice. I can make baked potatoes right off the bat. That's not bad. And just throw you on the ground here. Okay. So some, let me rephrase that. Some new... Uh, holders, they change the way they look after you've looted them. Harvesting tool crafting, okay. Nice, appreciate that. I'm gonna guess it's just paper in these. Oh, we actually got books? Well, we got a magazine here. Proves handgun crafting skill, nice, appreciate that. And seed crafting. Okay, so we are finding some books right off the bat. They've changed the way the purse looks, so we got some monies. Oh, look at the cute puppy. Nice, and uh, we got an aircraft carrier. That's cool. We are, I'm starting to see some of the new artwork that they have laying around in here too. That's cool. 
I am going to be nerding out about some things in this game as we go along, just so you know. So I, I hope you're okay with that. I get excited about all the new stuff, too. Arlene, poke her right in the, right in the belly button. Go ahead and pierce your belly button for you. Okay, so the spear's working okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's working. I tell you what, I'll wear you and just get rid of that. So we, we're we not mostly naked. We have ourselves a t-shirt. Woohoo! Uh, I'll take the bone just in case. Nothing up in here. I'm also trying to enjoy the new artwork. We got the American flag up there. That's nice. That one's definitely new. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, I hear you, sir. Let's do this. <laughs> you fell down. Oh, and you're an idiot. I'm going to take this time to just stab you right... Oh, hey, there's Sylvia. Come to greet us. She's like, hey, welcome to the new alpha. Hope you're having a really good time so far. Came in to give you a big old hug. Oh, that's not cool. Did you see that? She went all drunken monkey and dodged my spear attack and then punched me right in the nards. Not cool, Sylvia. Stop running at me. Okay, well, the spear is working, just getting used to the distance here. I'm sorry we had to end things the way we did, but I do believe you started it. So I saw we had a poppin' pills up here. Probably not be a horrible idea. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and get some more bandages. I could make regular band... Well, hell, I don't even have any cloth. I have to bust down a uh, curtain or two, get some cloth so I can make some regular bandages, just in case. There's one. What do we have? Prove medical crafting skill. Okay. Making, making bandages, medical supplies from common household items. Okay, that's not too bad. Some recog. Uh, I'll take you and you. That's what we're going to take right at the moment. Okay, so let me beat this down. Let me get a little bit of cloth here. If I can't make a good first aid bandage, at least I can make a regular bandage to keep myself from bleeding. So we'll craft four of those just in case. We get beat up just a little bit. We're going to need those. All right, so that's... Well, okay, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's something else they've added is that now you have doors that are actually single panel doors. So for like closets, they've added so many doors to this game, and I'm really, really excited about that. Do you still cause, yeah, you still cause some dysentery. I'll take you just in case because beggars can't be choosers. I'm really, really excited about the new doors. I know it's a silly thing to be excited about, but the fact that there's so many different kinds of doors. Ooh, that's nice. You know, I can go ahead and just use you. Potatoes? I can actually make baked potatoes now. Hey, we found a jar of murky water. Cool. Cool. We'll have to boil that down. I am excited. I am really excited. Okay, let's head up to the rooftop, see if there's any good loots or a... Oh, hell. Stupid birds. I had the wrong thing in my hand. That's not cool. Got another egg. Boom. Okay, got the main loot over here. Let's see if we get something good in the wooden crate. Another book, nice. Shotgun Messiah, you can craft shotgun slugs. That's what we need this early on. Got some hobo stew, that's not bad. Got some scrap leg armor, go ahead and repair you and then just wear you. And some ammo. Tell you what, I'll leave that behind. Wear you. I wanna see how goofy we look right at the moment. I'm sure we look pretty interesting. We look like a day one survivor, just <laughs> hodgepodge together of clothing. Uh, crossbow bolt, I'm just going to scrap those. I am not going to need those anytime soon. Land claim block, you know what? I'm going to just drop, I'm going to drop a few things off here. Like, I don't need, I don't need one paper. I don't need that. Okay, good enough for now. Let's check the trash, see if we've got anything fun in here. Sand. Okay, well, we uh, have nothing else here that we can possibly loot. We got everything that we can get out of here. See if I can not break something. All right, so we have a long walk we have to take to get to the uh, the trader. I wonder, let me see, which direction, if this road like winds out and heads back that direction. If we follow the road, or at least generally kind of follow the road, we have a better chance of finding some POIs. Then we, you know, can have a place kind of bunker down for the night. I see, it looks like we got some stuff right over that way. So let's run over here and see if we can't find at least a place to call home for the night. We got a long trek to go before we get to the trader, which I'm going to guess is going to be the next available town. But eh, let's run over here and see what we can find in the meantime. Well, look at this. We got ourselves a little concert ground here. Oh, God, that's a level three. Ugh. 
We are not we are not prepared for that. I have no bandages and I have a level one wooden spear, which speaking of, I should probably repair while it's literally sitting here. I am not doing that. No, I do. There's no chance in hell that I would not die. That's a really cool POI. I will at least see if the registers can be robbed. That one's already been taken and that one has will. We will venture back and do this when we have something that's a little bit better than just plant fiber pants and a barely sharpened rock on the end of a stick. No, that, that one's a level three. That one's going to be rough. Nice that it's starting me off uh, in an area that's already rather dangerous. Appreciate that game. Got a smaller cabin over here. Maybe we can handle that. Trying to gab gather rocks as I go along too because I'm sure I'm going to need a campfire. Since I can make myself a baked potato, it wouldn't be a horrible idea. But... Let's see, do I need to have... No, okay, you don't have to have a cooking pot for it. Recipes have been changed now, so everything works slightly different than the way it used to. Alright, this is a Willie's Cabin. We can totally call this home for a moment. Lock picks, not bad. I'll take the plastic. Acid, oh, early on, that's not horrible. Tell you what, I'm going to leave you behind. I'll leave you behind. Uh, make the stone arrows that I can make to clear that out of my inventory will be good. So I've got 26, almost 30 arrows now. That's not too bad. Free wood's always good right there. All right, Willie. It's peeking here all quiet-like. Nice. Noise trap looks a little bit better, too. It's a, kind of a different amount of trash than the norm. I will check your luggage for some clothes. Ooh, BDU bottoms. Yeah, yeah. I will take those straight out the bat wearing some good clothes. Liquor pile? Oh, cool. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. Nope, nope. Not going to take your nasty meat. Well, there's some more bones if I'd kept the one that I had. Hey, it's up, Edgar. See, look at that. You can stab them through the doors now. How freaking cool is that? Oh, I love that. So you don't have to wait for them to fully beat down. Oh, you, you son of a... You drunken monkey freaking zombies. Usually I have that problem once I get into the attic and they start, you know, getting their head clipped on the edge of the rooftop or whatever. But no, apparently it's all kinds of problems. All right, let's make myself a bone knife. That way I can at least harvest some stuff from an animal if I need to or use it as a weapon because, you know, bone knives do cause bleed damage at least. So it's not a horrible thing to have. Chicken soup, that gives a little bit of health. I'll use one and take the other one. See, empty cans are no longer in the game, too. So you eat what's on the food, and it's Dunskies. You don't have to worry about that. So Rat Dog, if you're trying to keep a counter going, we're not going to be able to do empty cans. I have to find something else to uh, count this series here. I don't even know what to suggest at this point. I don't know what we're going to find an overabundance of. Empty jars is not a thing. You find the jars of murky water, but that's it. Improves food crafting. Nice. Oh, freaking Bo just come stumbling over here real fast like. Okay, so the spear at least does an okay amount of knockback damage. Uh-oh. Almost pierced his ear. Okay, that's not too bad. If I get used to the range on the spear, we're going to be untouchable. We're not used to it, clearly, because we're getting touched. Nice. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. I was trying to read this. Improved food crafting. Cornbread and goldenrod. Oh, yeah. And there's some cornmeal, some murky water, and some more soup. Sweet. Okay, so food and water is actually okay. We could probably use a little bit more health. That doesn't give us that much, so I'm going to hang on to that until I actually need it a little bit better. I like the new fireplace look. It's pretty sweet. Now, if you were curious in anything, I have no mods right at the moment in this series. Everything is vanilla. I don't have any of the normal, like, inventory sorting mods or the lockable inventory slots. None of that is in this game right now. As it gets released and added, I may put that in here because those are convenience mods that it doesn't really change the outcome of the game. Nice. Uh, but right at the moment, I don't have any kind of mods in here, so if you're generally curious... I know some people have been telling me, like Josh has been mentioning, hey, the spreadable fire mod, you should wear that. Perception plus one. Nice. We already got some nice glasses early on, too. Let's see, where did that brings our perception level up to? 
that'll work that'll work out pretty good because then we can do a little bit better damage with spears since that's what we're currently using thanks game supposedly now of course i haven't tested it out supposedly as you progress and you're using a certain kind of item if that's what you're crafting the game makes it so that you have a better chance of finding loot that's more relevant to what you are wanting to use so since i like put a skill point into spears and i'm trying to use a spear more the game supposedly ow hang on don't hit me again i'm gonna die the game supposedly uh, is going to increase the loot odds of finding things related to that skill category Stabbed you right in the jimmy hat. Man, y'all hit hard. I need some more skill points. Or I need, I actually, I need some first aid. That would be great, too. First aid. How about something useful? Well, I guess if we had to... I'm going to close you for a second. I guess if we had to, we could inject ourselves and take off running. More 7.62 ammo. That's not horrible. Oh, first aid. Yes. Weighted mod. Okay, so here, what we'll do is I'll scrap you, I'll take you, repair you. Now, the weighted head mod, can I put... I don't think I can put that on a spear. I can't put that on a spear. Okay, never mind. Let me just completely take back what I just said. That's good. That's good stuff. We're already finding some things that are useful. Thank you, game. What do we have? Imp improved vehicle crafting skill? Okay. And improves repair tool crafting. Okay. Got some more gas. I'm going to leave the gas behind because I don't really need it right at the moment. Things I don't need right now are... Actually, I don't need most of this stuff here. Um, I could make myself a pipe weapon. Let's see where we currently are. Since we have some 7.62. Pipe machine gun. I would need some glue, which I have some bones and I have some murky water. So technically, I could make some glue if I make myself a campfire. Um, I don't want to use it just yet. We'll see here. I want to make sure I got all the loot stuff from here. I'd like to try and get as at least as close as possible to town tonight. Sure, I guess I'll take you. How about we'll modify and we'll make our spear blue. Why not? And then we'll make our bone this nasty yellow color. Looks like we've been stabbing all kinds of nasty things with that. Good, at least our health's going back up a little bit. That one bandage is lovely. Yeah, I hear you out there. This place is clear-ish. And let me repair you real fast. I'm not going to shy away from a normal fight. I'm not running into an amphitheater that's full of zombies because I'm not totally stupid. But I will stab the normal guys that are right here. Oh, lovely. Did you see that? The new dismemberment system is delicious. Now, I haven't been hitting any of the zombie limbs to try and dismember them, but to see a chunk of his head blow off and squirt blood all over everything instead of just the whole head exploding. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to keep moving this direction and see... Hey, we got another house right over here. Let's go see what's over here. That one's a little bit bigger. No, Sid, back up. You wiry, fast-moving, twitchy idiot. Nice shot. Love it. Oh, by the way, the XP that I have on this series is just the standard. I'm not using any kind of extra um, XP or anything. I don't. It's just 100%. I didn't put an XP boost on. Sometimes I do for like the mod series just so I can um, see some of the new stuff a little bit faster. But for this one, I'm leaving it as default. Hey, our first just finding of paper. TJ Morales resident. All right, TJ. Maybe you got something useful for us. Maybe not. I, it would be nice if I could find an actual book to teach me how to make a little bit better um, spear this early on. Let's see. Do I, I do have some rocks. Tell you what. Let's make ourselves a campfire. Then I can cook these taters. Let's do this real quick. Okay. Baked potato. Oh, I was about to say why. Okay. So I can make myself two baked potatoes. That'll give me a little bit of food that I have here. Well, we got some charred meat up in here. Gives a little bit on the health. It makes our water go down a little bit, but we're... Eh, we'll take it, I guess. You gotta have a cooking pot to be able to make some actual uh, murky water. Or to make drinkable water, you gotta have a cooking pot now. Since there's not just regular jars, they've made it a little bit more difficult. And apparently cooking a baked potato takes a little while. Check out that noise trap, man. You really want me to make a whole bunch of noise when I come in here, aren't you? 
Although clearing the noise trap seems like it's making just as much noise as anything else. Get rid of you. A pumpkin. You know what? I do not have the recipe. I, there's nothing I can really make besides a jack-o'-lantern. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I'm going to eat myself a full pumpkin. Get one health and a little bit of food in there. <laughs> that seems healthy. So, baked potatoes make your water go down. Make your health and your food go up a little bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. The other one's got a little bit of time left, so we'll stick our head in here and see what we can't find. Make sure we're clear for a second. All right, see if we can learn something useful. Improved spear crafting. There we go. Lovely. So we got level 2 out of 75 on the spear crafting here. Proves electrical crafting. Uh, our electrical is at 2. Tactical warfare. Assault rifle crafting. That'll take it at the level 2 as well. As well. So when I'm trying to craft a spear now, it's still going to be a stone spear. You got to, in order to be able to get up a little bit higher, let's have a look at our crafting skills to kind of go over this because we haven't really looked at this. Spears. So uh, the next level here uh, will take me to a level three out of three. In order to get to a level iron spear, you got to find the books with it to start with. You don't just automatically unlock that as you go. You got to unlock it. So that means the next magazine we find, it takes it up to the next skill we can make a level 2 spear. So that's what that means. So one more skill point and I make a level 2 spear. That's how it works now. Okay, potatoes done. Sweatshirts and skull caps, okay? Oh nice, it gave me two books here, but I'll just use one for the experience, no big deal. This may be home for the night. We're getting a little bit long in the day. We may end up calling this one home for the night. There we go. Yeah, with the change in the way they've done the skill point system here, it's definitely going to change up the way you play the game and the way that you think about um, how you want to allocate your skill points because it's no longer going to need to put skill points into things to unlock better recipes for uh, weapons or tools or anything. That's all governed by magazines that you're going to find. So the skill points that you're going to use are going to be solely into your character itself. And sure, why not? I'll use you. The hell, the lack of empty cans. I've gotten so used to just waiting to um, scrap that after I get it. It's definitely kind of throwing me off. Good water? Murky water. Yeah, so water bottles aren't even in this thing anymore. Okay, so I found a couple more bones. Can I make some more glue? Or can I make some glue, I should say? What am I currently missing? Oh, you do have to have just a regular cooking pot for glue, too. Okay, well that at least makes sense. We need to find a cooking pot. In the Wild West mod, we found enough cooking pots. We could have opened a store selling nothing but cooking pots. Let's peek around, see if we can't get a little bit of sneak damage to anybody that might be asleep. Oh, cool. Check out the bearskin rug. You know what? Um, what did I do? Oh, there's right here in my inventory. Check it out. That bearskin rug is sweet. You know, there's Edgar sleeping right over in the corner. See if we can get some sneak damage on him. Nice. Come on, nut paper. Lovely. I like the fact that we're finding books. Food crafting skill. That takes my food crafting up to level five. I want to look at that skill real quick. Food, level five here. Okay, so that that's all the things that I have to unlock here. So my... Um, and the next one, then I'm curious as to how this works. I'm still learning how it goes as well. But if I get one more here, that should take me to a six of six. I don't know for certain if that's going to automatically go to tier two. We'll just have to see if that goes if, or if I have to find something to unlock this, I'm not entirely sure how that part works yet. That's new. So we're still trying to figure it out, but that's really sweet. I like the bearskin rug. That's a nice little design. Uh, just in case, let me repair you. I'm sitting on a bunch of extra rocks so I might as well keep your head on a swivel that's cool I like that that looks nice that's really really nice instead of just having you know this breakable thing sitting up there that doesn't do anything oh look at the kitty <laughs> sorry I'm kind of nerding out over the cat but see that's what changed earlier so the trash went from full looking to empty looking so some of the things change, not everything changes. The drawers opened on the desk, so now that you can see that they're empty, that's really cool. Whoops, we kicked the noise trap. Way to go, Cap, way to go. Actually, I should probably go ahead and scrap you, get the leather just in case I need it. We'll check this bookcase. Flashlight mod schematic, cool. And 
That's not too bad. I'm not punching anything right now, but at least I have the opportunity to get some health back. Take both of you. We are we are absolutely chunky, so we're going to have to be dropping some stuff here pretty soon. Kick the noise trap again. Oh, it's Big Mama. Come get some, Big Mama. Showing off her giant bloomers like she normally does. It's just what she likes to do. She's like, this is my house and I'm in charge and I will show you whatever I want to show you. Whew, she can take a hit. Get some of our stamina back. We're almost to the next level. That's going to be useful. Now, I don't know what I want to put my one skill point into, but still. I'll take you. I'll just scrap you, I guess. I, don't, I know I don't have the ability to make the iron arrows yet. And some more goth boots. I'll just scrap you down as well. So tomorrow what we need to do is try and get to the... Uh, tr oh, that's cool. Folding chair pushed up against the door. That's cool. I'm going to guess I just scrap those into regular uh, scrap. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you're locked and you're locked. Is there a window I can go out? Yep. See if there's a specific way it wants me to go or if I can go however I want to. Check the sports bag. Some glue. Nice. That's useful. Now, I forgot why I was trying to make glue earlier. I... I'm having a, a moment of dumb. I was like trying to concentrate on tr uh, figure out what I needed to make some glue. Now I have some. Spear Hunter increased attack speed by 10%. Yes. Thank you, game. See, it is seems like it's kind of gearing its um, thing, its loot stuff towards what I'm currently using, which is lovely. That would be great here. You know, if you're rocking a certain kind of weapon, finding you know books that you don't ever need, it's kind of annoying here. It's great for the experience, but. Die, would you, sir? What exactly was I trying to make with glue earlier? Oh, yeah. I, was, uh, pi I can make myself a pipe machine gun. Pipe rifle is okay, but I'll make myself a pipe machine gun. I got 22 rounds here. Let's do that. So we can go rat -a tat tat for at least a second. If things go horrible. If things go absolutely horrible. We're at least kind of taken care of for about 30 seconds. And that's only if we feather the trigger a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be able to get a headshot there. We'll go for a shoulder shot. At least get a little bit of damage in there. Okay. Hold on. Let's make sure we're not going to get ambushed. Oh, hey, Skeletor. He's a bad mamma jamma. Let's get out of here. Make him come over and see us a little bit. Good. We got our health up all the way. He figured out how to get out of that window way faster than the other idiot did. Uh oh, hang on. Okay, you can follow me up here. This one's a little bit steep. I'm going to make you fall off the house. <laughs> Look at that rag doll. Tim! Hang on, I'm out of stamina. I need some coffee. Tim's probably used to being up on the rooftop, so, so he's probably got an advantage. Uh-oh, we missed. One down. <laughs> I hope he fell off the house. What's up, beggar? You still got my arrow? Are you gonna fall all the way off too? Come on, you can do it. Keep on rolling. Yeah, he did. He fell off, sweet. Okay, now we can get in and loot in peace. I think Tim fell off. He's gonna have to try and figure out a way to get all the way back up here. But in the meantime, he can just shove off. That's not too bad. Don't need it, but it's nice to have. And this is the main loot area, so that's not bad either. Armoire drawer. It's not as cool as mine. You're open. You're open. Good stuff. Trigger burst mod. Uh, you know what? Let me wear these. Repair them first and I'll wear them. I don't need the shotgun shells. Uh, tell you what. I'll go ahead and use you. Get our food back up. Get a little bit of extra health. Take you and you. Can wear you. Scrap those. Okay. So you, I could technically put on here burst mod. It's not terrible. Let me move you down here and get you reloaded, just in case. That's not a terrible reload speed. That's that's not terrible. Let me repair you real quick. Let's go take care of Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. You're getting all kinds of excited. I'm coming to meet you, man. Right here. There you go. Came all the way over here just to get stabbed in the face. And in the nuts. But you punched me in the head, so I guess it's even. And he is down. You down, sir? All right, let's go check. Make sure we didn't miss anything obvious sitting around before we bust into this working stiff tools. How about a 
How about a wrench? A wrench early on would be a good find. I'd be okay with a wrench. What do we have? Improves workstation crafting skill. Learn how to outfit your shop with forges, workbenches, cement mixtures, and chemistry stations? <gasps> I learned, oh, and a dew collector. That's something I want to look at too. Uh, I don't really need either one of them. I'll take them just because they're mine and I'm a little bit of a loot whore. But, uh, yeah, where you, sure, why not? Okay, so I want to see, because we can't make a dew collector yet. We got to have a water filter, which you can only get. I think you have to get those from the traders. I don't know if you can find them or not. Scrap polymer, short iron pipes, and duct tape. All right, we're a ways away from being able to make one of those for sure, but it's kind of cool. I don't think you can make a water. Yeah, you can't make a water collector. You just, you just straight, you straight up can't do it. No big deal. And I did get everything from you. Let's see if you got anything useful. Ooh, that's a good one. Learn life saving skills. Make bandages, medical supplies from common household items. That's just a journey. It's just going to make our skill go up. So our, our first aid skill went up to level three. And another syringe should we need a quick boost for it. We can take that apart for some more cloth if we need to. Well, all right. We're going to park it here for tonight. And tomorrow I'm going to try to make my way going towards a settler. We got about a fourth of the way there, maybe. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. We're in Alpha 21. Let's get the hype going here. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.